Yes, sir. Welcome back. It's your boy. Uh, for those of you guys that are new here, welcome. My name is Idris Ibrahim. I am a first year dental student at The Ohio State University. Uh, the purpose of this channel is to inspire, elevate, and educate. So if you're looking for inspiration, elevation, and education, you come to the right place. So pause this video, hit that subscribe button to get notifications for my weekly uploads. Uh, so as the title suggests, I'll be comparing the life of a dentist as well as the life of a doctor. I know what you might be thinking. So before you comment, let me just say that I know dentists are doctors. I'm not going to school for eight years to not be called a doctor. So I just kind of made the title to spice it up a bit, but yes, dentists are doctors as well as physicians are doctors, as well as anyone that got a PhD is a doctor in my eyes. Um, so without further ado, let's jump in. So the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me were interested in the dental field, but it seemed like a lot of people were kind of in between uh, picking the dental route or picking the medicine route. So hopefully after this video, you could pick the right route for you. So without further ado, we're gonna be comparing the stats between pre-medical and pre-dental. Uh, we're gonna start off with medical school. Well, there are 155 medical schools in the United States. Uh, these are only MD schools. There are also 33 uh, DO schools. Uh, the the difference between MD and DO is really not that different. At the end of the day, they both become physicians. The only difference is the schooling ideology behind the two, where uh, DO stands for Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, where they look at the body holistically, versus MD, medical doctor, where they look at the problem and how to solve it. For DO, it's only recognized in the United States. So if you go to a different country, more than likely, they will not accept that degree uh, in comparison to MD, where they accept it worldwide. So right now, let's look at the last year's numbers for medical school. Uh, approximately 53,000 students applied to medical school, and out of that 53,000, approximately 21,000 matriculated into medical school. Out of that 21,000 that got accepted into medical school, the average GPA was a 3.71, uh, and let's compare that to dental school. Uh, there are approximately 66 uh, dental schools in the United States, which is significantly less than medical school. And based on last year's number, 11,000 students applied to those dental schools. And out of that 11,000, approximately 6,000 matriculated into dental school. And out of that 6,000 that got accepted, the average GPA was a 3.55. As you can see, is a little bit more competitive getting into medical school since there are so many applicants applying and not that many spaces in comparison to dental school. Uh, they're both at the end of the day difficult to get into. It's just medical is a little bit more difficult than dental. So right now we're going to look at the exams for medical school and dental school. For medical school, you need to take the MCAT, which is a seven hour exam. It has a lot of subjects in it ranging from psychology to organic chemistry to critical thinking. And for dental school, uh, you have to take the DAT, that's the dental admissions exam, which is a five hour exam and mostly focuses on science courses. Uh, the difference between the two MCAT and DAT is that the MCAT has a lot more sections and the questions in the MCAT are more passage based. Instead of just giving you a straightforward question, they give you a passage and you're supposed to find the answer within the passage. In comparison to the DAT, which is shorter and where the questions are more straightforward, uh, they give you A plus B, what is C? Uh, for medical, they give you a whole passage that might contain A, B, C, D, E, and they might ask you to find G. So for both exams, the difficulties are the same. In my opinion, for medical, they focus a lot more on your reading capabilities and your ability to be able to critically think and find the answer in a fast pace. And where in dental, they'll focus mostly on your ability to answer the question. So right now we're gonna just look at the difference of schooling between the two. Uh, they both are four years. For medical, since I'm not in medical school, I really don't know exactly what they learn, but I have a couple of friends that are in medical school and they were able to give me some idea of what you learned the first four years. So based on their experiences, the first year, they did mostly didactic courses, uh, which is humanities, physiology, immunology, just basic science courses. Uh, second year, they focus more on clinical relationships, which means in the first year, if you learn about how the heart works, in the second year, you're gonna learn about what happens if the heart doesn't work, what clinical correlations can you relate to that. So third year, you go on your rotations between different specialties as well as fourth year. But I did hear that fourth year is a lot more relaxed and a lot more free time because a lot of students are applying to residencies. So they're going out to go interview at different schools. So the schools are a lot more relaxed and a lot more lenient on the schedule for that. So right now we're gonna look at dental school. Uh, dental school is also four years. Uh, the first year is mostly didactic courses as well as one or two lab courses to help us get used to our hand skills. Uh, the second year is a lot more difficult because we still take the same amount of coursework, but they also include a more lab 
because in the third and fourth year we'll be out in the field so they're trying to jam pack everything we need to learn in that year uh, the third year we go on rotations between different specialties where we go to oral surgery uh, pediatrics endo and different specialties where we do rotations fourth year we still do rotations but we're mostly independent uh, most students at this time focus on getting their graduation requirements in because they will be graduating uh, by the four year now I'll just do pros and cons between the two. Uh, first off, starting with dental school, the pro is uh, dental school, we only take one board, one integrated board. Even though it's at D3 year, you might forget a lot of stuff you learned. First and second year, it's a pass or fall course. So instead of preparing for three exams where they score you, uh, we only prepare for one exam where it's a pass or fail. Uh, this might be a pro, might be a con, depending on who you ask. But for me, I personally think it's a pro because you don't have to worry about it once. And once you get it out of the way, you're able to become a dentist. Uh, the second pro is the environment. I feel like in dental school, the environment is a lot more helpful and collaborative because all of us are coming into something new that we never worked with. We never worked with our hands. So anytime you're in a lab, you're kind of confused on what to do. You can always ask the student next to you because they'll probably be in the same boat as you. So everyone's like willing to help. Another thing I like about the environment for dental school is that it's not as competitive as medical school, where in dental school, only 20% of the class uh, goes to residency. A lot of people are just trying to become the best dentist they're able to become. For dental school, the con is it costs a lot more money than medical school. So approximately a dental student will graduate with $292,000 in debt. In comparison to medical school, where the student owner graduates with $200,000 in debt. Now we're gonna just look at the lifestyle between the two. We'll start off with life after medical school. Uh, so after medical school, you have to do a residency and the shortest amount of residency is three years. So it could range from three years up to five, six years. Um, so that's one downside about life after medical school. You still have to go through training. Even though you get paid during this training, you only get paid a lot less than a regular doctor would. Um, and especially if you're graduating with that much debt, it is a lot harder to live off of it. After their residency, they start to make a starting salary of $250,000. Uh, this number might be a little bit off. Uh, it depends if you work in the hospital, if you own your own practice, if you work in a Medicaid practice or private practice. So this number could range, but the average was uh, $250,000. And the lifestyle after residency is a lot more relaxed, but I did hear that residency is extremely long and extremely underpaid. After residency, the average work hours for a is 60. Uh, as you can see, that's a lot more than the typical work week, which is 40 hours. And uh, now we're gonna compare that to life uh, after dental school. So after dental school, uh, only 20% of students is specialized and they can specialize in a variety of fields. Uh, the other 80% of the students just go on to become regular dentists. The average salary for a general dentist is 150,000. Like I said, this number could be skewed. It depends if you work for a corporation, if you own your own practice, if you work in a Medicaid or private practice, it could really vary, but the average was 150,000. Average work week is approximately 36 hours for a dentist. Uh, that's a little bit less than the national average, uh, which is 40. Um, so you kind of just kind of pick um, if you want to work more hours, you want to make more money or you work less hours and you make less money. Uh, so right now, I'll just look at the pros and cons between the two. Uh, the first one being medical. Uh, for medical, you do make a lot more money. Uh, you can stay in the field a lot longer than a general dentist could. Uh, the reason is because dentistry is so physically taxing on your body, working in a small space. Uh, by the time you're 50, you can end up with carpal tunnel, uh, back issues, neck issues. But I feel like for physicians, since they're not really confined to a small area, they could uh, work a lot longer than a general dentist. The other thing is the cost of tuition is a lot less. Um, and also if you want to open your own practice, the cost of opening your own practice is also significantly less than opening a dental practice. Uh, the cons of medicine, in my opinion, are you work longer hours. It also takes a longer amount of time. By the end of the day, if it's something you love, time really doesn't mean anything. Uh, right now, we're gonna just look at dentistry. The pros in dentistry, in my opinion, is flexibility. Uh, most dentists I know only work three to four days, which is a lot less than the typical American. Number two is that it's not that long to become a dentist. It's only four years after undergrad. Uh, unless you want to specialize, which could be a little bit more years. Number three is that it's a lot less stress than medicine. The reason is you're not going to get a call 2 a.m. in the morning to come in to fix a root canal. Most of the time, the patient could wait until the morning uh, to come in for a root canal. And also the other one is you have a lot more time to do other things. If you want to get into real estate, if you want to open practices, you can do a lot more stuff with uh, dentistry. Same as with a physician, but it will take a lot more work and a lot more energy because you are working most of the time as a physician. Uh, the cons of dentistry is number one, is it's really expensive. Uh, the average debt for a graduating dental student is 292,000. Uh, number two is if you want to open your own practice, it also costs a lot more money than opening a medical practice. The other one is I feel like everyone hates the dentist for some reason. 
Uh, just to do a quick wrap up, at the end of the day, both fields are extremely rewarding and also extremely respected. Uh, don't look at the price tag or how long it will take you, even though the price tag for dentistry is outrageous. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you love something and that's something you want to do, it doesn't matter how much it costs, it doesn't matter how long it will take you because you'll be happy at the end of the day when you graduate and when you start working in that perspective field. Another advice I want to give is there's multiple paths to take. If you're passionate about helping people, uh, instead of just taking the long route of medicine, you could become a nurse practitioner, a physician assistant. You can just do respiratory therapy. You can do a lot more things that are related in the medical field. Uh, same as dentistry. If you love dentistry and dental uh, patients, you could become a dental hygienist, a dental assistant a dental therapist so don't just limit yourself to all oh, like in order for me to deal with patients i have to go to medical school i have to go to dental school there's so many routes you could take to deal with patients that are a lot cheaper and take a lot less time but yeah that's the end of the video if you guys have any questions about the dental field please leave a comment or feel free to reach out to me i will try to give you as much information as possible also if you have any questions about medicine or medical school you can always reach out to me i have a couple homies in medical school that i could reach out to and they could kind of connect from there but at the end of the day, I hope you guys love this video. I hope you guys stay safe and you guys pick the right major. I try to keep it as unbiased as possible, even though we know which field is better. Wink. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys stay safe. Uh, blessed. Take care.